Hey guys, Monster Zero here. All right, um, I am back. Uh, at the end of the last video, you probably saw I was having a little trouble with my clutch. Um, I was doing all kinds of weird stuff and freaking out on me. I thought maybe it was a setting in the game. Uh, turns out my clutch pedal just died. I uh, have a brand new set of Club Sport uh, pedals, Fanatic Club Sport pedals, uh, like less than a week old, and uh, clutch pedal is just intermittent now. Like it, it, it'll give input like uncommanded inputs and then it'll it won't give any input when I step on it and it's just, it's all over the place so I uh, whatever it took me a while to try and find a workaround so I just disconnected the clutch pedal that's it so now I'm just using gas and brake you know just like my old setup kind of sucks I really feel like I'm taking a step back but I mean what's the alternative you know I just really sucks so so whatever um Got that issue sorted out. No more clutch problems. Um, you also probably saw that that Porsche race on this Nurburgring here was really kicking my ass. So after I figured out what was wrong with the clutch, I practiced this offline a couple times, and I, I got it down pretty good now. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and redo it on video so you guys can see. And I also want to show you, too, because somebody pointed out kindly that my settings were changed the the ai went from uh hard to medium and i think it was because after that first intro race where it like changes your settings for you i think it it changed it because i didn't change it back to medium so whatever i changed it back to uh I'll show you guys real quick here i changed it back to uh hard here's all my gameplay options now hard difficulty handling mode experience same steering all the assists are off no uh i put it on full damage now too I don't know if I'm going to regret that or not, but uh, I'm still leaving the best line on because, you know, my my explanation still stands. They don't give you any kind of practice in this game, and you can't even practice offline either. In uh, in Shift 1, you could do, like, a, a free race. You know, you could just set up, like, an empty track and just race it with, with, you know, the car of your choice as long as you want. This one, you can set up a free race and race it as long as you want, but you can only use cars that are in your garage. And I only have that little Volkswagen Golf in my garage. So, like, I can't practice with the Porsche. It's a little bit different practicing with, like, you know, a, a car that has a third the horsepower of this thing around this track. So, whatever. I just played through it a couple times. I, I got pretty decent at the track. So, like I said, I'll run through it right now for you guys. And uh, and then we'll continue my uh, continue my career in Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed here. I also um, downloaded a mod, Jules Tire Mod. You can get it on the uh, on uh, No Grip forums, No Grip Racing forums, and man, did it change the game for the better. The physics feel so much better now. I mean, definitely feels more like a like a sim, you know, something I'm used to than an arcade game. Uh, I mean, they felt good to begin with, but they were a little floaty. You probably saw me complaining in the early videos. I was kind of drifting all over the track when I was, you know, trying to go straight. It, it, physics were definitely floaty. Something was funky with them. You could tell there was good stuff, you know, down there, but uh, but it was a little floaty. But this mod now, oh man, it's like night and day. I feel so much better. It's really awesome. If any guys play this game and use a wheel, I don't know how that mod works with a joystick, but if you guys play this game and use a wheel, I would highly recommend going uh, and getting that mod. I'll put a link in the uh, comments section, or not comments, the description, whatever. The link will be up there. You guys poke around and, and I'll put the link if you guys want to use it. Doing much better on this track. Lowest time. Let's see if I can beat the highest time on the next lap. This is the corner that used to kick my ass and still kind of does. I have to take it super, super slow, but at least I don't go off the track every time and really screw my lap times. I'm sure I could be a lot quicker around this track, uh, this track if I could just nail that corner and just get it down, but for some reason my brain just like does not. Whoa, God, that's rough. But uh, for some reason my brain just does not. I want to remember that corner. Every time I hit it, it surprises me. I don't know why. 
Very hard corner. This is going to be a slow lap. Uh, I got one more after this. on this lap. I felt a little bit quicker. Still feels so slow though. I just suck at that corner. third, I think. Uh, that's going to cost me. That was ugly. Do third around this one here. Another third, I think. Well, pretty sure I'm going to be faster than I was last lap, but I don't know if I'm fast enough to get the uh, gold here, or first, whatever, but either way will progress on to the uh, next set of events. Got a little faster on this one. Thank God I didn't lose it. Yep, I think I got it. Uh, I think I only beat the second place. Well, whatever. Like I said, I beat it before, so this was just a replay here. Now we can move on to the next event, which is a five-lap race, I think. Only a thousand bucks for that, man. Stingy. Stingy, these people. Ah, look at that. Mastered that track. Nice. That feels pretty good. Back. Nope. Back. Modern C Invitational. Yeah, as you can see, I beat this one too, one out of one, but uh, I didn't record it because I was offline practicing that Porsche lap for so long. Sorry, you grabbed a drink? Yeah, I was offline uh, practicing that track with the Porsche for so long that when I finally beat it, I was just in the zone and I played through the next race without even realizing, oh yeah, I'm doing an LP of this and I gotta record it, but whatever, we'll, we'll play this again. Now, I haven't played this track yet with the tire mod. So, I'm hoping it'll be a little easier because this one was pretty tough too. Um... A little bit easier with these realistic tire physics. Green, green, green. All right, we are on our way. We have Skyline and Evo in front of us. And they are not going to let me pass them. Huh? I also don't know how well the AI is going to react to this tire mod. They may be all over the place. Because the tires are definitely a little more slippery in this mod. Uh, you know, they're more realistic. Oh! Almost a clean pass, and I'm off the track. Didn't lose any positions. Okay. Off the track again. Yeah, this, this is tough track to memorize, too. Drop down to fourth. It's a long race, though, for this game, so I got time. I don't want to get too uh, bent out of shape here. Just focus on my driving. 
keep my line as best I can. Try and make up some lost time for the next couple laps here. And they're getting a pretty good lead on me here. I don't remember if this is a second gear corner or a third. Looks like third. I'll start remembering the track a little more as the lap's gone. Now this is a tricky corner up here too. It's pretty fast, but it's not as fast as it looks. Nailed it. Nice. Here is where I make up some time, hopefully. Yeah, maybe not. That's going to cost me big time. Not doing so hot this round. And this one, I think I decided this was a third gear left-hander. Yeah, it is. Speed up here a little bit. I gotta close that lead somehow. That real tight turn one, that's where I'll try and make time up again this lap. Try not to mess it up this time. Fourth gear, fast left hander here. Off the track. Oh, alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Two laps left. All I need to gain is one position. Drop it down to second here. Off the track, no. Need to go faster. Wobbly. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have much luck catching up to these guys. I'm just not driving as fast as they are. And mistakes like that will not help me. Feels like I just cut the track there a little bit. Getting a little closer here. Oh man, bad, 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 bad. Bad. Get back on crack. Not good. Oh, I'm spinning out. Oh, no, no. I think that race is over. Oh, go. Why am I not gear? 
Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Yeah. I'll be lucky to not place last now. Oh man, what is wrong with me? Not doing so hot. Yeah, and I'm, now that I messed up once real big, I just my mind's all over the place, and I just can't hold my line. That's wild, man! I blew this one. I just can't hold it together. Can't do it. Well, this is just a bonus race anyway. I mean, I already beat it offline, but uh, I really got to get my stuff together before the next race. Not doing so hot. Well, that's all she wrote, boys and girls. Huh. Thanks for the uh, words of encouragement. All right, well, that's all I got for uh, for this round. Uh, I'm going to take it down, and I will be back with... Well, let me exit out here, and I'll show you what I'll be back with. Yes, continue. Like I said, I already beat that offline, so I'm not worried about redoing it or anything like that. Um, back. Okay, so that will wrap up this thing, two and three, the Hot Lap Gauntlet and the Modern Sea Invitational. Next, we will be on this guy. And this guy has a ton of drift events, which I refuse to take part in. So I will not be doing the drift. Hopefully, even though I don't do them, I'll still get enough points to progress and unlock the rest of the uh, career because I hate drifting to begin with. And in this game, man, the drifting is impossible. So... Uh, there you have it. I will be back in the next video starting uh, this modern sea competition here in, in 4 and 5 uh, tab, whatever you call it. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Monster Zero out.